Beloved, in order for moral laws to be legitimate, it has to be objective, it cannot be subjective. Therefore, based on this premise, being self-righteous and immoral is the same thing. In other words, we cannot individually and on our own set the parameters for what is morally right and what is morally wrong. Just imagine the chaos and anarchy that would ensue if each of us are free to decide upon our own moral code or framework sans any objective moral standard. In such an abyssian state of nature, it would be impossible to condemn theft, genocide, rape, adultery, or any other heinous moral crime, since it would be perfectly legitimate for any individual to pursue any action based on their own subjective moral code. Condemnation of such outrageous acts can only happen if there's an objective moral law. It follows from the premise that the only way we can judge, in other words, either accept or condemn the actions of a person to be either moral or immoral, is the existence of an objective moral law. Where do we get these objective moral laws? We get it from a moral law giver. Where else would we get objective moral laws from? This objective moral law giver is none other than God the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, creator of all that is seen and unseen. Simply put, it is God's moral law that allows us to distinguish between right and wrong actions. However, we remain free to choose whether we do right or whether we do wrong. Because God created us in his image, we are born with an innate sense of right and wrong, or what we refer to in ethics and philosophy as natural law. The theory of natural law says that humans possess an intrinsic sense of right and wrong that governs our reasoning and behavior. Sin is violating God's moral law. Because God created us in his image, every person born has an innate desire to know God and fill the void created by sin. Sin is what separates us from God. Notwithstanding, we belong to God who created us and it is for this reason that Yeshua redeemed and reconciled us to God through his finished work on the cross. Yeshua was the only morally perfect person ever to walk on this earth. This is why the Apostle Paul declares, Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, they are a new person. Their old life has gone, a new life has begun. I encourage you to accept Yeshua's free gift of salvation. Let us pray. We all have sinned and fall short of your glory, my God. Deliver me from self-righteousness and immorality. Yeshua, you are the Lord of my life, and I accept your free gift of salvation. Holy Spirit, lead me into God's righteousness. Amen. Usually after Yeshua healed and forgave sin, he would declare, now go and sin no more. I encourage you to stay blessed. Shabbat Shalom.